In terms of content, how hard is it to please the children and the parents? Uh, I'd say the parents are the easier ones. Really? And in our space, in the educational space, it's, uh, it's always more challenging with kids. Mm -hmm. So we, we tend to call ourselves the organic apple among the content offerings. And I'd say our expertise is to tickle the children into educational content. We know that kids really enjoy educational content, so we have at the, at the center of our brand is a, a claim which says, be amazed every day. So if you can, if you can create these moments of curiosity, then, then it really works. But you, you, you have to create the right setting. So a pure entertainment program, I think it's easier to satisfy the kids. Mm -hmm. How are parents uh, involved? Are they involved? Are they interested in what their children are watching, what they're playing with, what they're learning? How do they follow up? I think parents are becoming more and more involved in the media consumption of their children. Uh, having said that, it's not easy. You know, if you, if you give an iPhone to an eight or nine year old, it's very difficult to control that. Um, but I think there is a movement among parents for more consciousness, for more smart usage of digital devices, for you know, not binge watching on television. So, I, you know, I have three kids. It's a constant negotiation. So you try to find the, the biggest common denominator, and that's not always easy. But um, I think in the subscription business we're in, Parents like to pay for, a, let's say, a walled garden or a healthy environment. Mm -hmm. I think it was you that said um, on the panel you tried at your own house to turn off YouTube from from TV, and it was a <laughs> it was a it's problem. Impossible. Or you know, be it uh, on the router or be it on your mobile phone. I mean, be it an Android, be it an Apple. Try to restrict things. It's impossible. So I think the, the uh, I, I think there will be a little more uh, walled garden, but if you, if, you, if you completely fence it in, it's also boring probably. My generation, our generation, basically um, um, was dependent on linear TV when we were kids for the entertainment. Uh, what, are, what, what can linear TV do today with all this competition in terms of VODs? Well, I think in the kids segment, definitely linear TV is suffering. But the ratings we are seeing is our ratings are actually growing, moderately growing. Now again, educational TV is always a little smaller in terms of the performance. I think we're seeing a phenomena which I think is interesting is kind of linear on demand. So you have an on demand product with a linear feed. I am seeing, we're experimenting at home a little with kids that when you zap through the linear channels, okay. it's like a recommendation engine. And I disagree with anybody saying that TV in general and TV for kids is, is, is done. It's not, it's, not, it's not the case. And I think there's, but you have to complement it, of course, through various product, products in the digital space. Thank you very much.